Time for your daily presidential address and voted by the group that watched Wager Talk today. We're going to talk about Pittsburgh against the Raiders. Before we get into that, uh, I just want to shout out everybody who bets NHL. Guys, for the first week of the NHL season, I got a promo up. You get seven days of all my NHL plays for only $49. That is a steal. It's a deal. Take advantage of it. It's going to be a wonderful week. Okay, Pittsburgh, minus three against the Raiders. Now, I'm mad at myself for not taking the under Sunday night against Dallas with Pittsburgh. And we're not going to make that mistake again. I'm going to look to take the under in every single Steeler game all year long, except this one. Although I do like the under here, I actually prefer a side. Let's get into it. Again, against an injury-riddled Cowboy D unit who has shown itself to be, well, pretty damn bad, Fields was back to his Chicago days, going 14 for 25, putting up 138 yards. And yes, although he did have two touchdowns, Fields stinks. Pickens, who is supposedly always open, he had two catches for 29 yards. Way to go, Arthur Smith. Excellent game plan. Even though Pittsburgh D caused three turnovers against Dallas, they allowed a 60% third down conversion rate. That's horrible. The week before against Indy, 53% third down conversion rate. With that said, the Raiders are not Indy or Dallas, but we're still getting three points at home in a game that the Raiders, I think, can win outright. I know the Raiders have issues. I get it. They just got beaten bad by the Broncos. But this team has put up 18, 20, 22, and 26 points in their last four games. And most importantly, and hugely key in this handicap, Antonio Pierce doesn't lose back-to-back -back games. They started the season losing to the Chargers. Then they beat Baltimore. They then lost to Carolina, whooped Cleveland. Now they lost to the Broncos. I think they beat Pittsburgh. Now, I want to bet the under here, but I'm worried about how bad this Raiders defense is. Although I don't think Pittsburgh can take advantage of that, we could see a 24-20 type of game. What are we going to do? We're going to take the home dog, hold our breath, and make sure that we pray for no turnovers. I think Vegas wins this game outright. I'm getting three points. I'm getting them at home. That's where we're going. We're taking Las Vegas. Plus the three. Guys, the NFL presidential address is up at Wager Talk TV. Every game on the board, I take a part. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.